Hello everyone, I'm Ron Manwiller with Enduring Images and today we're going to make some decals. Now the way we make decals in Enduring Images is by using a product called lamination paper. Looks like this, comes in various flavors. It's um, a thermal release paper with ceramic cover coat screen printed on top. We love this process because it's the same process for making all different kinds of decals from uh, iron oxide, mica, single color ceramic or four color ceramic. Same process makes every decal. Not only that, but it's inexpensive and it enables you to, with a, a choosing the right flavor of lamination paper, to fire mica to different temperatures and get different color results. Check this out. This is a tile that was made with a lamination paper, printed with mica from a Rosetta Technologies mica printer, which by the way I like much more than the HPs and the Canons because they have higher iron in the toner. It was fired to 2000 Fahrenheit. This next tile was made with a different flavor of lamination paper, fired to 1600 Fahrenheit. You can see it's a nice, rich brown, uh, in general, darker than you can get with HPs or Canons. Again, all these were made with the Rosetta Technologies micro printer. And finally, there's a low fire lamination paper. And you can see with this, you get a really rich, attractive, dark chocolate brown, again, with exactly the same uh, iron oxide toner. So it's one of the features of lamination paper that we really like here. In addition to that though, not only can you fire different temperatures for different colors, you're not limited to firing a glazed substrate anymore. You can fire glazed or unglazed. Decorating unglazed is a little more tricky, but works just the same with a little practice. So how does it all work? First, you're not gonna, we're going to print on standard water slide decal paper. These are micro images printed on this very paper. Once you do that, and by the way, what's cool about it, as you can see, you only need to use what you need to use. You don't have to consume a whole sheet of paper every time you print something. And this is the, the lamination film. So, the, the, tri the trick, or one key to using lamination paper is you never trim the decal before it's laminated. If you do, and you have some of the lamination film outside the perimeter of this, instead of the film transferring to the print to finish the decal, the film transfers to the rollers in your, in your uh, laminator. Bad. Don't do that. So, first, cut out the decal. Give yourself plenty of room to put the lamination paper on it. So here we have the horse. It's the same print that those other tiles are made from. And again, we're not using the whole sheet every time we need to print one decal. We just use what we need. So I cut this too big. I don't want this in the laminator because that will end up on the rollers. So trim it down a touch. And here we are. Run it in your laminator. Now, if you have a laminator at home, use it. Probably work just fine. Uh, the system's pretty forgiving for the lamination process. If you don't have a laminator and you need one, this is a Scotch TL906, costs about 50 bucks. It's a great low cost alternative, works great. But again, if you have one at home, use it. So we laminated our decal. Now we want to remove this, the donor paper. Throw it away. And here's our decal. If you want to trim it, now's the time. I'm not going to, I'm just going to dip it. It applies just like any decal, so we'll dip it in water, let it sit for a minute. So going back, the virtues of this system are different colors for the same microtoner. You only need to use enough to make your decal. You're not printing a whole sheet of paper um, or using a can of spray. This is more efficient. And finally, you're not limited to, to, uh, to um, tiles that are glazed and glossy. You can pretty much put a decoration on anything you can fire in a kiln. We're back. So, been sitting around just like any decal, slides off just like any decal. You apply it to your substrate just like any decal. Take it a little squeegee. Again, there's nothing special about how you apply this. Some people like to roll it to get all the air and water out. Put it in your kiln, fire it to the chosen temperature. If it's an iron oxide print, again, you can fire it hot or cold and get a variety of colors. If it's a single color, uh, fire it as, as recommended and of course, if you're uh, using four color printers like we sell 
Here in Enduring Images, this is just a test tile with different colors on it. They all work. That's lamination paper process for making decals. We love it here. It's very flexible and expensive. Give us a call, 303-278-8868. We can send you sample packs in the mail or tap onto our website and you'll see an info at website uh, email. Request information and we'll send it to you. Thanks for listening. Happy decaling.